today's video, I want to talk all about a potentially huge feature that could be introduced with the PlayStation 5 based on a brand new pen. A lot of pens been coming out, and a lot of them are going to ultimately lead towards these features being implemented into the PS5 as well. Speaking of the PlayStation 5, we should be getting a PlayStation 5 game update very, very soon. A game that's already been confirmed and one that I think has a lot of potential as well. On top of that, the developer of the excellent My Time at Forshia has announced a brand new game, a puzzle adventurer in Everforward. Want to go over that? And how about this? A Silent Hill tease has been dropped by Kojima Productions. More info may be coming next week. We'll talk all about that at the end of this video, but first up, Sony could be considering wireless charging for the PlayStation 5 controller as detailed by Push Square. Another day, another Sony pen, and yes, there have been a plethora of Sony pens, but I imagine a lot of them are ultimately going to lead towards a lot of these features being implemented, and wireless charging isn't something that's absolutely insane and something we haven't seen in other platforms. Not necessarily in gaming, but nonetheless, this one was registered in the summer of last year, but full documentation has only just been made public about it. The gist of it all is that this pen describes a PlayStation controller attachment which allows for wireless charging. In other words, you could clip this device onto your DualShock and when prepared with a dedicated charging base, the battery gets charged and that would be a clear indicator of Sony making some real progress into the future. That's kind of a feature that has been associated with a lot of, you know, future tech or present tech at this point because a lot of tech does feature wireless charging. As with any pen, there's absolutely no guarantee that this product will ever see the light of day, but Sony could still be considering something like this for the future, especially with the PlayStation 5 set to launch later this year. Besides, the company re recently released an official back button attachment, which suggests that it's opening its mind to the uh, potential of additional controller-based products, and it seems like the back button attachment got a lot of interest. It did pretty well in the sales numbers as well. As far as wireless charging, I think this would be a great inclusion. I don't know how the general PlayStation community feels about it, uh, about this, but sometimes I just run out of charge on my PlayStation 5 controller, and if I could wirelessly charge a controller and continue to play a game, I don't know how effective the charging would be at that point, but I do think it would be something pretty cool to see. Is it the biggest feature that PlayStation has to include? No, not necessarily, but all of these features coming together for the PlayStation 5 is what's ultimately going to make it a more compelling platform. You need things like wireless charging. I'm not saying need, but you need features like that, all of them coming together. I'm not saying one is going to make or break the console, but you do need new features like this indicating to the general audience that, hey, this is something different than what you've been accustomed to with the PlayStation 4 or any other platform. And something like wireless charging to you, as minute as that could be, uh, it could be something rather substantial if coupled with a lot of other other features that are kind of giving the idea and the general representation of the PlayStation 5 truly being a next generation console. Obviously that idea of next generation is going to come from a technical side of things more often than not and obviously from the games lineup but then when you talk about a compelling feature set something like wireless charging could add another layer to the PlayStation 5. All right, speaking of the PlayStation 5, also want to talk about Godfall. This is a game that I am very excited for. I believe it's coming from Epic Games and Gearbox. They have just wrapped up the panel at PAX East, and perhaps surprisingly, PlayStation 5 title Godfall put in an appearance. The audience was treated to the same announcement trailer from the game's reveal at the Game Awards. But what was more interesting is what Counterplay Games had to say after the fact. According to the team, it has more to tell about Godfall really, really soon. This raises two questions. Firstly, how much stock should we be putting into that quote and how much could we be seeing about Godfall? And also, if they're going to be showcasing Godfall gameplay very, very soon, could that be as a part of a PlayStation 5 reveal event? We can't take anything more with it than at face value. All we have to go off is that. But more Godfall news is definitely a good thing. Godfall is a game that I feel like a lot of the PlayStation community is a little bit skeptical on. I personally am very excited for it. I think the game has a ton of potential and visually I think it's looked rather good. It seems like some of you guys have been disappointed by the game from a visual standpoint as well but I think the game looks rather good on that end and for it being a multiplayer game with a lot of compelling elements I think it could turn out to be really good. If you guys don't know what Godfall is all about 
It's a brand new next gen looter slasher set in a bright fantasy universe filled with heroic knights and arcane magic. Godfall is a fantasy action RPG that utilizes high impact third person melee combat to engage players as they hunt for loot, don legendary armor sets, and defeat vicious enemies. As players face challenging missions in the world of Godfall, enemies and bosses will reward fans with head turning loot as they are vanquished. Godfall can be played entirely solo, duo, or even three player cooperative play, providing fun for all that play it. Third person action RPG counterplay games is innovating with Godfall to provide a fresh take on third person action combat by rewarding skill based offensive gameplay and making every hit matter. It's a looter slasher as players face challenging missions in the world of Godfall. Enemies and bosses will reward fans with head turning loot as they are vanquished. Counterplay games is aiming to feed into that yearning of the next best piece in your character build so they plan to provide plenty of loot to players to ensure there's meaningful impact to gameplay and play styles. And better together when playing Godfall you can go at it alone or play with anyone at any time. Bosses and enemies have been designed from the ground up with co-op in mind with special abilities that counter multiple combatants attacking from different angles. Godfall does look like a rather interesting game and it should be out this holiday. Should be one of the major PlayStation 4 launch titles or at least a launch window titles depending on how it turns out being done by a relatively unknown studio in counterplay games. So far what we've seen has looked rather good and the creative director of the title Keith Lee has been very very uh, talkative about the game saying how innovative it is and I think it will be a fresh take on action RPGs. We'll ultimately see how the game turns out when it does release later this year. Alright, moving on from that, my time at Porsche, a developer has announced a brand new game, and it is a very different game, being a puzzle adventure title in Ever Forward. That'll be coming to PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC, and on top of that, it'll be coming out very, very soon. The Steam page for the game is already up, and Ever Forward is noted to be an adventure puzzle game. It is the story of Maya. Maya is lost in a strange world somewhere between reality and imagination. She is alone to confront her despair on her journey of discovery, where she must unlock her memories and confront her fears to unravel the secrets of the world. Players will need to use their observational skills and intelligence to solve multiple puzzles to piece together the mystery of Maya's past and what dark secrets she has buried. The game touts puzzles for more than three years. Our designers rack their brains designing puzzles with the puzzle gamer in mind. Players will feel deeply challenged and motivated to solve each puzzle and some puzzles have multiple ways of being completed to fit different kinds of thinkers and logical processes. I think this is really cool in the sense that I feel like fans of puzzle games have never been at the forefront of game development. Puzzles are something that is just incorporated into the overarching gameplay aesthetic of an entirety of a game, but it's never, at least more often than not, it's not the core focus of the game. Of course, there have been titles like Kalos Principle and The Witness where puzzle do, uh, puzzles do take the forefront. However, more often than not, they're just a smaller element to the overall element of a game. It also notes, as far as the art goes, a color palette of soothing pastels and futuristic tones designed to simulate the absurd nature of the world adventure players can collect fragments of memories in the world to unlock new areas and new puzzles and mechanics mechanics range from simple movement and jump to teleportation and gravity control the player must use stealth and observational skills to navigate each puzzle again the game will be out very soon as it's scheduled to be released in may of 2020 and if you played my time at Porsche, you know how talented this studio is uh pathia games that is and it should turn out to be rather good a rather interesting title as well and the trailer has set, set a good foundation and thought process for the game as well, so I'm very excited to see how that game will ultimately turn out. And lastly, I think everybody watching this channel at the very least has some respect for Hideo Kojima and Kojima Productions. Even if Death Stranding wasn't entirely your cup of tea, I thought the game was very compelling. And a Silent Hill tease has been dropped by Kojima Productions and more info may be coming next week. Hideo Kojima has been doing a lot of teasing about the next big project recently. A lot of it seems to be pointing in one direction, Silent Hills. However, this is an IP that's owned by Konami, so it'll be rather interesting to see if this can come together. Obviously, Silent Hills was a sadly cancelled game he was working on with Guilherme del Toro before his ugly departure from Konami, which has been well publicized to just about everyone. Late last year, Kojima tweeted that he was working with his next game concept with the following teaser image, working on the next concept while no one is in the office. There's a lot going on in that picture, but most people zeroed in on the fact that Kojima was sitting alone in a silent office while staring at a hill of a sand on his computer. Kojima has also teased a possible return to horror in another tweet while the latest 
latest Twitter tease comes from the official Kojima Productions account. At first, it just looks like Koji Pro's head of communications, Aki Saito, scrabbling uh, on a post-it, but looking a little closer, and there are some telltale clues. Sorry to be silent, everyone. I've been really busy lately. I think I can say more soon, but what we're going to do... Koji, uh, a response noted, hi all, Aki is still alive and he is still head of communications, he's in Japan, I'm in UK, hashtag Kojima Productions, that came from Koji Pro 2015. First off, Aki obviously uses the word silent in his tweet, and if you zoom in, it turns out he's using a pyramid, a pyramid brand pencil. Oh, and his note also says next week, so we might be seeing new information about Kojima Productions' next work very, very soon. Rather interesting because Death Stranding just came out. Of course, they're still working on putting the PC version of the game out. But if Kojima could get to a point where he's rolling out games at a little bit of a quicker pace, you know, waiting four or five years for every game is a little bit lengthy. However, that's become the general norm in a lot of games. Sucker Punch is taking a while with Ghost of Tsushima. Last of Us Part Two has taken quite a while. These games are massive undertakings, so I understand why they're taking a little bit longer but I wish that the major studios could put out games at a little bit of a quicker pace but again it all comes down to the quality level and the quality level is much more important than me getting my fix of games a little bit quicker. And that's going to conclude this video. Again, Sony could be working on a relatively big feature for the PlayStation 5. If a patent is to be believed, they are considering wireless charging for the PS5. A PlayStation 5 game update will be coming very soon with Godfall PS5 news coming soon. That looks like a rather interesting game. Panthea, Pathia Games, the studio behind My Time at Porsche, has announced Ever Forward, a puzzle adventure game coming to all major platforms in May. And Silent Hill continues to be tweet, uh, teased by Kojima Productions. More info may be coming next week. That's going to conclude this this video sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching and goodbye hey guys we hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you're already subscribed do us a favor and hit the bell icon this way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video that's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads and we usually try to upload two videos a day and with the bell icon hit you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video as always thanks for watching